Hello there. I've just finished not long ago um, changing out the banners in our sanctuary. We change them out e each season or sometimes for special Sundays. This week it moved from green to white um, in symbolism of our Transfiguration Sunday. And um, after this it will move to purple for Lent. To be transfigured or to be transformed is really to be changed. In some sense, to be made new, to be renewed. Um, and I think that's what we are called to be as people of God, to be constantly renewed, to be constantly made new as our day goes on and as our weeks and our life goes on, to grow. And sometimes to let go of stuff that is just sort of holding on to us and to start with something new. And I think we're called as people of God to do that all the time. There's a passage in Romans 12, verse 2, that is actually quite powerful. And it says this, Do not be conformed any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, so that you will be able to test and approve what is God's will is, good and pleasing and perfect. Do not be, trans do not be conformed, but be transformed. It is the Spirit that transforms our life. You know, we always have things that need healing in our life. We always have things that we hang on to for far too long. I know I have some of those in my life for sure that I struggle to let go of. And we all have things that need renewing and healing. And so as we do this, we offer these things to the Spirit of God. Um, we offer our lives to God to change and transform us, to make us new to put new color <laughs> into our being, to put, to put new life into our hearts and our souls. And the reason that we are transformed quite often is so that we can be more at peace, so that we can be more whole. And then as we're made more whole, we are able to, to bring that transformation into the world for others, and we're able to help heal others. And so I'm just reminded of this today. And I wonder, what in your life might need transforming? What might need healing? What might you need to let go of so that you can live and walk more freely and more new? And so let us offer those things to God um, so that God can change our hearts and change our minds and, and change our souls and set us free. Let's pray together. Dear God, sometimes there's stuff we just hang on to not because we want to, maybe because it has a grip on our life. And Lord, we bring to you these things that seem to hold on to us. And we ask you to transform us. Transform our hearts. Change our hearts, oh God. So that we can live more freely. So that we can share your love more, more wholly. And so that we can have peace. Thank you, Lord, that you take all of those things that we offer to you. And you bring new life and healing and love to them. Thank you, dear Lord. We pray this in your name. Amen. So I invite you to spend some time as we enter into Lent. Think about what would you like to let go of? What would you like to see God bring new life into? What would you like to um, not have to carry around with you like a burden anymore? Give it to the Lord and ask God to renew and transform your heart and your life and to set you free. Take care and God bless you today. Bye now.